Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today's Saturday, and so I'm getting ready to do a trainer ride this morning. I really wanted to ride outdoors today, but when I looked at my trainer road calendar, today's workout is actually Galena plus three. Now, Galena plus three is four 20 minute sweet spot efforts, and it actually shows up twice in the sweet spot base high volume two plan. The last time I did the plan, which was last month, I actually had a really tough time with this workout both times that it showed up. The first time it showed up was on a Saturday like today, and I had to decrease the intensity a little bit for an interval, and then I had to take an energy drink to get me through it. The next time it showed up, which is about a week and a half later, I pretty much completely failed the workout halfway through the second interval. So I really didn't want to skip that workout today by riding outdoors because I really want to see what I can do to better improve myself during this workout. It's kind of odd to choose riding indoors instead of riding outdoors just because I want to do the indoor workout said no one ever. <laughs> but anyway, since it's Saturday and I'm getting warmed up to go down in the basement and get on the trainer, I wanted to discuss a little bit of the cycling news from this past week. The big thing that I'm really excited about is the announcement from Zwift that was actually earlier this month. Zwift announced a new league called the KISS Super League. Now this is actually going to be a competitive esports cycling league. What's happened is Zwift along with KISS is putting on this professional league league where they have several pro continental teams coming to compete. If you don't know what esports is, esports has actually been around for a very long time and it's actually something that I have a history in. A long time ago I was really big into playing Counter-Strike and I actually participated in esports leagues in Counter-Strike and it was actually a huge part of my life. There's a lot of controversy with esports and the reason why is that even though esports has been around for a very long time, a lot of people have debated whether whether or not esports is truly a sport or not. To take a look at what esports actually is, in the past it's been people playing a game, either like a console game or a PC game, and they compete. They go into tournaments, they win real money, there are professional esports players. To me, that sounds like a sport, right? The controversy with esports comes into the definition of what sport actually is. A lot of people believe the definition of sport actually revolves around the fact that there has to be physical activity, which they believe is lacking in current esports today. If you look at it, these professional esports players, they are no different than a regular athlete. They train and they practice and then they scrimmage and they go to matches. I mean, that sounds exactly like what we do with cycling. We train every day and then we prepare. We have like test races and then we go to our big races. This is why this gets really interesting because when Zwift gets involved, Zwift can cross that barrier of saying this is no longer a question of whether or not it's a physical activity because it is. So in my opinion, for all the people who thinks that esports is not a real sport, they can't say that with Zwift. Zwift crosses that barrier. They legitimize esports in its entirety. So it'll be really interesting to see what comes of this league. They are going to have this professional league, there's also going to be an elite women's league, and then there's going to be an amateur league, and it kicks off on January 23rd. I think the date's very interesting because it's almost like uh, it's almost like a second season, you know, through the winter when you're doing a lot of, of trainer rides. And then I'm also thinking about all the people who aren't racers like maybe some of us are, maybe the people who enjoy cycling and enjoy gaming, maybe they find like a new world with all this because they can bring the two together and maybe it motivates a lot of people who didn't ride that hard or didn't train that much. Maybe it gives them new motivation because they enjoy competing in the esports league. Some other things that Zwift is doing to help evolve this esports arena is they've actually partnered with British Cycling and British Cycling Cycling is going to do an esports championship. And then the UCI has said that they're going to do a world championship for esports. So I'm really pumped to see where Zwift takes esports. I feel like they can really do something in esports that nobody else can do. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. But, anyways, my warm up is done. So I'm going to go downstairs, get on the trainer, and see, see what this Galena Plus 3 has in store for me today. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Trainer. 
True story, that Scratch Labs water bottle has not been washed in two or three months. Galena plus three, it was as hard as always, but that's definitely my best performance to date. So I'm really happy about that. I think that shows that I'm adapting well to the training and that I'm also recovering well too, even with my added in strength sessions. Ugh, that was good, that was good. Man, that was such a good workout. I just really enjoy training right now, and I have some. Up I have an upcoming race in January. It's a mountain bike time trial race. I'm planning on doing it as long as the weather's not too brutal. I'm really glad that Galena Plus Three is no longer a concern for me. I mean, it's still a hard workout, but I think I'll feel much better when it comes back in 10 days. So anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up if you guys like this video. It does help the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.